G'day everyone, my name is Fancy Felix and I am glad you're here because in today's episode of Let's Remember we're taking a look at a little game called Hocus Pocus. Ooh, look at this, this is scary. This one was released in 1994, developed by Moonlight Software, published by, of course, Apogee Software. And it's actually very, uh, a very well-loved and uh, fondly thought of DOS game, which I only played once when I was a wee lad. And I always wanted to play it, but I never got a turn to play it on the computer when I had the one chance ever. So let's do it, let's do it. As far as I can gather, the story is... I am a young lad by the name of Hocus on a quest to prove my worth to the Wizards Council. Collect all of the magic crystals to finish the level. The status bar below will show you how many crystals you've found. Alright, cool. So I can go left and right. I can jump with control. Ooh, and I can shoot with alt. Okay, sweet. What's this guy? It's an old wizard. So, another brave apprentice. You'll never make it through these castle walls alive. ha ha ha! Well, not see you, buddy. You're not very friendly or helpful, are you? I thought they'd be a bit more supportive. Ah, those alligators kill him. Okay, uh, what's happening? All right, goblets give me points. Whoa, crystals make the screen flash red. I have to get all five of them. Let's go up here. Look at those creepy skulls in the background. That's cool. Gargoyle heads out. Ah, what's happening? No. More alligator things and a mushroom. Look at the mushroom. Oh my god, that's a pissed, pissed off mushroom. Mushroom? I can't, can't speak today. Well, what's this? A power up? I don't know. I think they made my weapon better somehow. I'm not really sure though. But hey, we got a key. I don't know what it's used for. You might find a silver key to your left and up the stairway, but you'll never find the secret treasure room in this castle. Why are these guys working against me? Like, can't you be more supportive? Ah! Ah, god die, damn alligators or crocodiles. I don't know what they are. They're walking on their hind legs. So I guess they're not really alligators or crocodiles. They're some kind of... Some kind of mythical beast. What is a mythical beast doing in a DOS game about wizardry and... Ah, what are these? What are these? These are just, I don't know, generic flying gargoyle beast things. Okay, we got lava here. Jump over the lava. So as I was saying before, I, um... I fell in love with this game the first time I saw it when I was about uh, four years old, I think. I was visiting... I was visiting my cousins for the first time in my life. I never saw them and they were kind of uh, bad people. They weren't friendly, at least. They were just annoying little bastard kids. And they were playing on this computer and they were playing Hocus Pocus and I was like, Oh my god, what are you playing? And, and they told me Hocus Pocus, and I was like, whoa, and I sat there and watched them for like two hours straight, and I was like, uh, it's been a long time, do you mind, like, can I maybe have a turn at playing the game? And they're like, oh, no, just, uh, in a minute, like, we're just gonna finish this level and stuff. And, uh, needless to say, I never got a turn, and then it came time to go home, because they wouldn't be nice, sharing, caring individuals. So I never saw this game ever again, and I thought about it, ah! Thought about it quite fondly for years. And always, um... Always wanted to play it again, but I never got a chance until now. I couldn't even figure out what it was called for several years there. Wait, what happened? Oh, I got the last thing! Yes! Level complete! We got five crystals. Castle complete. Congratulations. Results for level one. Treasures found. 75 treasures available. 86. Uh, accuracy. 87%. Less than 100%. No bonus. Oh, you have to get 100% accuracy with your lightning bolts? Screw that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I, I finally found this game and figured out the name of it quite recently. Now I'm getting to play it. 
And uh, it's a pretty good game. It's not as mind-blowing as it was to me when I was uh, four years old, but it's still good. Very appealing graphics and um, a nice little weapon here. And what young lad doesn't want to doesn't want to be a wizard and shoot all the demons with magic powers? It's awesome. Ah, don't fall on that. Oh my god. I'm doing bad. I'm doing bad. My health is down to 28%. I gotta find more green vials. I guess. Okay, flip the switch. Get across these. Nope, I gotta be more patient. Because, uh, the enemies take a little while to spawn in. I don't like games that do that. Just spawn enemies in front of you like this. It's annoying. Ah! Come on. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die so bad. I'm down to 4% health. Yep. Oh my god, he explodes into like fireworks. I guess that's how wizards die. Tough break. You'll get it next time. I sure hope so. Ah, <sighs> at least the uh, game over screen has some kind of faith in me, unlike all my wizarding mentors that kind of just talk crap about me and discourage me. Maybe it's all part of their test. I'm gonna try it like. How am I supposed to kill these things without getting hurt? I can only like go down there for a split second and get off some uh, lightning bolts before they hit me because I can't fire in any angle. I can only fire straight ahead. Maybe I'll leap over them. Oh no, oh no. There's really no way to uh, dodge or deflect attacks that I can see, which is a bit of a pain. But what are you gonna do? Okay, kill these red demons. Come on, get out of here, you. Now flip the switch. Let's try this again. Kill the crocodiles. Oh no, more stuff coming. Kill those. Die. Oh, uh, damn it. <laughs> I was doing so good. I gotta be patient. And everything comes back when I walk back here, or is it just you? I don't know. I think I forgot to kill that guy last time. Onward we go. It's pretty straightforward, all of this, isn't it? Ugh. There's not much to it. It's just collecting crystals. I wonder if there are any, like, boss enemies or how varied the environments get. Ooh, a key. Key can go here. Get some crowns and a crystal. Sweet. Ah, full health. I like that a lot. Ah. I wonder if the enemies end up varying much as well, because right now it's been pretty much just all crocodiles and red gargoyles, and a couple, uh, couple little mushroom men. Oh, hello. I hope you have found the secret treasure room containing the golden goblets. You should have found it by now. Uh, did I find it? I don't think I did. Who cares? Why do you want me to find the golden goblets? I guess this is all just some kind of like training exercise set up by these wizards. It's not much of an adventure, it doesn't feel much like one when they're just all like standing around observing me. Uh, the story's a bit weak if, if I'm honest, it's just hey you're a little wizard guy, go around collecting crystals to prove that you're good enough to be a wizard. Like, come on, man, I want there to be, like, some huge evil force that I have to take down and save the Wizarding Academy or something. But no, it's just basically past Wizarding School. Which, uh, isn't, isn't very thrilling, but, uh, that's okay. That's okay. It's still a good enough game. Let's get all these tasty treasures that don't really do anything for me. You know what? Screw the treasures. I don't want them. Unnecessary. What does this do? Ooh, a platform. I've still only got one crystal. How long is this going to take? Where's my other crystals? Watch out for these prongs. Ah, there's a crystal. I like that. So many evil skulls. Ah, god damn. Alright. Ah. Oh, there's a crystal. Sweet. Two crystals remain. Alright. Getting there, getting there. I wonder what the next level's like. I believe uh, every every third level, like 
is different like aesthetically i think it goes in pairs so there's going to be two levels that look like this with like the blue background and the purple and gray bricks oh another one sweet and then there's going to be two that look a little bit different so i'd like to maybe get to the last get to the end of this level never mind i exploded into a ball of flames tough break you'll get it next time the hell i will Ladies and gentlemen, I think I've had enough of Hocus Pocus. Uh, it's not as good as I remember, but it's not bad. It's fine. It's fine. I know some people hold it dear, but maybe you should go back and try it and see if you still love it as much as you thought you did. Well, we're going to end it here. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to uh, tickle that like button. And hey, keep it fancy. I'll see you next time.